Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lara or Lara Likes Mascara. I am so excited about today's video. I actually filmed this a little while ago, so I'm filming the intro on a different day, but I'm really glad that I did that rather than me introducing it and then decluttering because now I know what good stuff is in store. I know what I've already decluttered. I have them right in front of me. And because this declutter went even better than I expected. Like I wanted to get rid of a lot of stuff, but I didn't know if I would actually be able to follow through with it just cause you know who I am. I'm not great at letting go of items, <laughs> but I did it. And I think I did a great job. I calculated the percentage of my lip product collection that I got rid of through this declutter and it is massive. It's not like 50% or anything, but it's a lot. Well, I will, I will talk about that. So because of this, I already know that my inventory for 2023 is going to look a lot different. So part of me is like, oh, I wish that I had done this declutter before doing the inventory. It just would have been more satisfying to see those numbers go down so much from 2021 to 2022. But at least this way, I mean, it's still happening. I'm still decluttering them, even if it's a bit later. So this means that my 2023 end of the year inventory will look better from the beginning of the year, which is fine. As long as the numbers go down, I am really happy. And despite how many things I'm getting rid of here, I was very, very well reasoned. I think, yeah, like I'm not looking at these and being like, oh, I kind of wish that I still had those in my collection. Oh, I shouldn't have decluttered them. No, I'm looking at them and I'm, and I'm happy that they're out. I mean, I still have them in my household, obviously, but they are on their way out. I'm not gonna actually show you what they are, but these are them. <laughs> so it's, it's been a few weeks since I decluttered them and I'm still really happy with my decisions. None of them have been re-cluttered. <sighs> but yeah, that's gonna be it for the outro. I am actually wearing a pink lip today because I thought it would be funny <laughs> because my lip preferences have changed so much in the past you know, five years. I used to love pinks. I had so many pink lip products and just slowly, slowly I have been decluttering them. And a lot of the ones here are that hot pink color. So I'm just sort of honoring that. I do still have a couple of hot pinks in my collection. And this is one of those. This is not one of the decluttered products. Yeah, I know some of you like pink. I, however, do not. But yeah, let me know. Do you see why I'm getting rid of pink? Do you see? Okay, let's get right into the declutter and I will talk to you at the end of the video. Bye. Okay, here is our starting point. So this is not everything. This is just the stuff that was already on the dresser, but I think I'm going to go through this big thing first because I do have a couple of lip products in there. So I'm gonna pull those out and then I will get into the main heft of my lipstick and eyeliners. Um. Okay, yeah, here I've got two lipsticks. I've got two here. And I've got one there. Oh, and I've got a lip balm, but I'm not gonna declutter that, so I'm just gonna leave it in there. And I don't think any of those are lipsticks. So, okay, this is all of, those are all the lipsticks in there. Now let's remove this guy. Oh, that was the smoothest. Oh, nope, something fell. Yesterday when I tried to move this, one of my MAC eyeshadows broke. So every time it's a little bit uh, stressful. Okay, this is the main heft. These are all of the lipsticks and these are all the eyeliners, ostensibly. I mean, you can see that there's some lipsticks in there because I just simply have too many. Well, lipsticks take up more space than eyeliner. So let's start with lipsticks, I think and then I will move on to eyeliners, but I think lipsticks is going to take quite a bit longer because I have more of them. I didn't count when I did my inventory of my full collection, but I think last year, or did I count? Was it like 40? I think last year I had in the high 40s for lip products, so definitely have more lip products than eyeliners. So let's just start there, get the tough stuff over with, and yeah, get into it. Also, I have three new products here. I just wanted to, I mean, obviously I'm not gonna get rid of them because they're brand new, but I just wanted to be able to include those in 
the totals. So this is the only lip product, so I'll keep that there and remove the eyeliners. Now what I would really love is for all of my lip products to fit comfortably in here and not have them spill out into the other pockets. So I don't have a number in mind, but let's use that as a starting point, preferably under 40. I don't think I'm gonna get rid of any of these ones, but let's dump them out just in case. Oh my goodness. I also have two more lip products that aren't here right now, so I'll just have to keep that number in mind. Am I gonna swatch all of these? Is that gonna happen? I also have a bunch in mind to pan this year, so I'm gonna set those aside because I'll be getting them out, but you know, it'll be a, a longer process. That one for sure. This one I already know I want to get rid of. This is new, so I'm keeping it. This one I want to pan. This one I want to pan. This I am panning. Okay, let's put the lip liners separately, I think. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm afraid these are all gonna fall off. Okay, here are the lip liners. Wait, I think I'm missing one. Oh, there it is. So these are the two that I feel like I don't need as much. Like we've got a good, good color variety going on here. Those two are super similar, but I like them both. But these ones, these are both bright pink. This one is called Hot Pink. It is from Annabelle. And this one is, is there a name? Fearless, maybe? Fearless? This is from Topshop. So let's swatch them. This one looks comparatively more peachy, but it still swatches. Very bright, as you can see. Yeah, that one is obviously more hot pink. So I think that's the one that I'm gonna get rid of, this Annabelle one. So there we go, already found one thing to declutter. And then I think the rest of these I am going to keep. The only one, I also have this lip liner, but I'm planning to pan that next year, or rather this year, I'm filming this at the end of 2022. This one is the only one I'm kind of iffy about, but I just don't have another color like it. So I think it is useful to have something that's kind of browny maroon. I don't know how to describe it, almost gray. It's different, I don't have anything in my collection like it. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try this on my lips just to see if I need a shade like that. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a whirl. Y'all, it is so bright on my lips, even though it looks more peachy than the other one. I do think I should keep one hot pink color, you know, just in case. So this is pending. I will either keep this or a lipstick. So let's let's just put it over here for now. This one, this one is sort of unique in my collection because of its, you know, container format. But unfortunately, I never really got to use this because it is more of like a natural product. Like you can see it says green me. Yeah, I just think that this was more clean beauty. It smells really bad. Oh, it's like super, super waxy now. It's kind of difficult to swatch. So, um, yeah, as much as I don't have anything else like that, unfortunately, I just, I just don't use it and I can't use it because it has gone so bad. So potentially have three already there. Okay, let's, let's take a look at the bright lip colors. What I can see right away is these three. Let's get a little more organized here. So this one, I decluttered my other similar one, but I kept this one, but it is still very hot pink as you can tell. And this is as much as I've used. You can tell I've, you know, not used very much of it. 
Then we've got this one, which is kind of more of a lip gloss. And this one, I don't think I would be able to declutter to someone else, unless, you know, it was like a close friend, just because it's not sanitary at all. You can't, you know, get take off the first part of the lipstick or whatever, as you would be able to do with this one. This is Sweetheart, I believe. And this was the first one that I got out of the Revlon Lip Butters. And I've used a decent amount, but it's, it's hot pink. <laughs> and um, yeah, I don't really wear hot pink. This is also one that I could potentially pan or give away because it's quite old at this point. So this is another, this is another maybe. I'm gonna put it in the maybe category. As for this, I think I can safely declutter this lip product. I'm gonna keep this one just because I can't pass along. And it's, it's pretty aesthetic. It's nice. I like the way it looks. Okay. Let's take a look at this one. This is from Kiko as well, but this was a present from a friend. I think only one side works. Yeah, so this is supposed to be the eyeliner end, but sorry, lip liner end. It's super duper dried up. Maybe if I try to sort of break the tip off. Oh, <laughs> okay. No, the other side isn't any better. So that side is uh, kaput. This side I think is still good though. It's much more of like an orangey red, which I don't have elsewhere in my collection. I don't love orangey reds. I much prefer like, you know, blue reds, but it's kind of nice to have something different. Oh, and there's quite a bit left in here. That being said, maybe I could try to pan this next year. Let's put this in the potential pan category. Oh, okay, where to next? Maybe I should start with the ones that I will for sure not declutter. I'll put those over there. So for sure not gonna declutter my Charlotte Tilbury or YSL lipsticks not going to declutter soft spoken this is my favorite probably one of my favorite lip products in general i get a ton of use out of this i don't know why i still have the sticker on there probably because it's just annoying to get it off is it gonna leave a mark oh okay not bad the new lip liner I got, it is actually also in soft spoken. I was looking for more of like a brownie nude color. It looks less brown and neutral than I expected. Like it honestly looks closer to this shade than it does to this shade, I would say. Well, I don't know. I'm still, I'm, oh, I'm very happy to have it. Oh, and now it's uh, gone and disappeared. But anyways, <laughs> all I have to say, not gonna declutter that. Not gonna declutter my almost black liquid lipstick, because this is useful from time to time. Not gonna declutter my Bite one, although ugh, this probably should be getting used up soon. Oh, it still smells okay. Do need to be getting more use out of that. This I also love. I'm still big into liquid lipsticks and it's just a really nice color. I'm gonna keep this Stila lip gloss. Honestly, I don't, well, I don't like lip gloss and this one feels particularly sticky, but I feel I should keep at least one. Who knows, maybe my preferences will change. This is my go-to lipstick that goes in my like purse or wristlet. Okay, let's take a look at lipsticks now. This is, is this Stila Lancome? This was a present. I'm going to keep that. My three MAC lipsticks, I'm going to keep those. This is one that I think I'm going to try to pan this year. I'm going to do a lipstick project pan. Probably the intro is not going to come until like mid-February, depending on when this video goes live. But this is the one that I bought 
with this one, this strange gray color that I showed earlier. The, I actually don't know that I've tried this lip liner with a different lipstick, but I like the lip liner more than the lipstick, I think, because this just fades so quickly. But I think I am going to try to pan that this year. I've gotten a decent amount of use out of it, not that much, but makes sense considering it's such a bizarro color. Here, let me just show you. It's just, it's like a, it's like a kind of purple that would work better as an eyeshadow than as a lipstick, you know what I mean? Plan to pan. Okay, and then we've got these three lipsticks from, these two are Revlon, this one is NYX. One of these I think I got, it has my name on it, yeah, there we go. There, I got this at like a pop-up. It's not actually my favorite red, but it just, it feels special. So I'm gonna keep that. And then this was Black Cherry, which I used to absolutely love. This used to be really, really hard to get your hands on. Kind of a cult classic. I haven't reached for this in a long time, but it's a really nice berry color. I should try to reach for that more. And then this is a red lipstick that I don't know, I've, I've never loved, loved the shade of this. And it tastes kind of minty, which is weird to me. See, it's more of like an orange red than that one. Let's swatch them both here. So that's the Revlon one. This is the NYX one. Hmm, that one is more, I don't know, kind of orangey actually. This one looks like a nicer red to me. Something with the flavor or the texture I don't love. It smells minty. I don't think I like the mint smell because it makes me feel like, oh, is it is it supposed to smell like that? Like has this gone off or is it just supposed to have a minty odor? I'm not sure. So this one is going to be pending. Okay, for all of these lipsticks I wanna keep. Let's move some things around. All right, I've been putting these ones off. These ones I actually use quite a bit. I find they have a nice texture. I should really sharpen this one though. And it's more of like a berry red, which I prefer. This NARS one, and then this is just like a nice neutral. So I'm gonna keep those. Why don't I separate these Revlon ones? I really don't, <laughs> I really, really don't like these ones. I don't know why I'm keeping them and I kinda wanna get rid of them. So let's see which of these, if any, I have actually opened. Unopened, but looks like a nice shade. This is more of a ready. I think this one I could do with getting rid of. This one, what's the difference between these two? Hmm. This one is darker, I think. I think I should probably just get rid of both of them, honestly. I don't think these are colors that would suit me. And then these three, I cannot even tell the shade as much because they are in their package. That one looks kind of gross, like grayish. This one is more red. This one is more wine color. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna declutter all three of these. Yep, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. And gonna keep this one and try to pan it next year. Just so that I can say I did one more. So that is going in the panning pile. These three are getting decluttered. Okay, let's go through my liquid lipsticks now. Cause that's a category unto itself. And I just wanna make sure these are all colors that I actually would use. Okay, I have three NYX ones. I used to have four ColourPop ones. It's since decluttered one because it had expired. And then I have one Stila one. Where is that? So let's just compare these two colors because they're, well, no, they're really not that similar, are they? But just to, you know, check my curiosity. Yeah, it's quite a bit darker. This one smells perfectly fine. That honestly looks a lot more like soft spoken than it does that shade. So 
So definitely gonna be keeping both of those. This one, I don't know if I'm just like, if it's the light, but inside it looks like there's like discoloration. It smells a little bit weird, but not that off. It's kind of more similar to that shade. You see? Yeah, they're actually super similar. I don't reach for this one. The, yeah, the look of that is kind of giving me the heebie-jeebies. It really doesn't smell at all, but like the blue in it is weird. Can you see that at all? Yeah, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna say goodbye to this one. Oh, that's surprising. I did not expect to do that today, but it's time to go. I don't, I don't reach for this one very much. And then this one, this is my only red liquid lipstick, but see how dark it is? It, it honestly looks more like a, like a burgundy or something. Yeah, it's very dark. This one smells a little chemically, but the color looks perfectly fine. So keep that and then just for posterity's sake, let's swatch that one. Hmm. It's even more brownie than the other ones. See, it's like darker. Well, it might dry down. This is in Brooklyn Thorn, much less wearable shade than Soft Spoken, even though they look quite similar. Okay, and then these are the ones that we have left. Guys, is it time to do it? Uh, I don't, how? <laughs> how am I gonna declutter so many lip products and not this one? I don't know, I just, something about this doesn't let me declutter. Do you ever have that, that you like, have products that you know logically you should get rid of, but you just can't do it. I think this is gonna stick around longer. Even though I have the Stila lip gloss, which is much nicer, I like this applicator better. It's just easier to squeeze stuff out rather than having a doe foot. So I think this is gonna stick around. Oh, <laughs> why am I doing this to myself again? Okay, and then this one is in the shade Wild Watermelon. This is also very bright, but I've gotten a lot more use out of it. Come on, let's focus. Yeah, I really like these lip butters. Like they're just, they're so wearable. They're a really nice formula. Super duper bright though, and more of an orangey than a hot pink. So I think this one can stick around. And then we've got this. This is a super dark liquid lipstick from NYX as well, but it's more like grayish blue, which I never wear, but again, this isn't very sanitary. So it's not like I can declutter, you know, post this on buns or something. No one's gonna want that. And I don't think anyone in my real life would want it either. So yeah, catch me rocking that in the new year. It's a, uh, it's something. I don't even remember how that one looks on me. And then we got these two. I used to love these. I don't love them as much anymore, but again, they are doe foot. So I think decluttering is going to be very difficult. I did just use one of these. I think this one in, or maybe that I don't remember, in my video yesterday when I was filming. And it's not my favorite formula, but it leaves behind quite a nice lip stain. So those are those two there. Very, very dark, so I don't wear them out very much. Oh my goodness, okay. I think I've narrowed it down. These are the ones that I am decluttering slash that I said I was gonna think about, but I think I would just feel better if I got rid of them all now, except maybe this one. Which one have I used up more of these two lip butters? Oh, they're kind of equally used. I wouldn't mind trying to pan this one this year actually because it is very like soft and kind of nourishing feeling. So I might put that in the project pan for the year. Okay, the rest of these, these are getting decluttered. <laughs> I can't believe it, look how many. I've never decluttered this many items all in one go before. Okay, we've got four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten is very good. Ah! Ah! Well, <laughs> there goes one. 
I just had to retrieve this lipstick with some tongs. Now it might seem kind of strange that I am filming this. I'm actually doing this declutter in 2022. Like I think that this video is going to go live sometime in February. So I'm filming this like a month and a half in advance, but I am just so in the like organizing and decluttering mood right now that I want to get everything done. And I also don't want to lose that kind of feeling because I feel as if if I wait a month then I will be feeling way more like emotionally attached to things. And right now I'm just, I'm just ready to release these products. So I wanted to take advantage of that feeling while I have it. So. Ten products, and let's see how many we have left. Oh yeah, this was also a maybe, but I think I'm gonna have to use this a bit more and then decide in the future. Also, the fact that the packaging <laughs> looks like that is really not helping its case, but I don't even remember how this looks on me, so I'm gonna have to give it at least one more whirl. Oh, it's still 40. I thought I got it down so much. I think it's because I'm including lip liners in this, but I mean, they are lip products, so they should technically be included. But if all goes according to plan, I will be hopefully finishing all of these next year. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. I will be panning eight lipsticks over the course of next year and then I will finally be down <laughs> to my 30s number. There are actually two more products that are not here right now. One is like a new lipstick I haven't opened and the other is the Tower 28 lip gloss from Shauna, which I cannot find but I am assuming it is somewhere still <laughs> in my apartment. But yeah, there we go. So in total that is 42 products including all of my lip liners seven lip liners. So 35 lip products plus seven uh, lip liners. There we go. That is this year's lip product declutter. I hope you enjoyed and uh, let's skip to the outro. All right, what did you think? Was it just as impressive as I had warned at the beginning? It wasn't, you know, clickbait or anything. I've got 10 lip products that I am decluttering. This is wild. This is the most declutters that I've done on a single day, I think ever, except for maybe when I was first going through my collection and starting to like cull products that were mostly expired. That was mostly the reason back in 2020, you know, close to the beginning of my no buy, maybe when I was like moving into this apartment and really had to actually get rid of things. That was the only other time that I would have gotten rid of this many things in one go. But yeah, I'm so impressed with myself. What do you think? Should I hang on to any of these? If you think so, don't tell me. <laughs> Yeah, super, super impressed with myself. And now I feel much more comfortable with my lip product collection, even like going in this drawer. That's where all of my, well, most of my lip products are. It's not as much of a mess. Things aren't like falling all over the place. There's space for everything. And that's what I want. I don't want my collection to feel overwhelming. And my lip product collection and my eyeliner product collection for a long time has felt overwhelming. So I, as I mentioned, I will also be doing a eyeliner collection declutter that will be coming soon. And I also did really, really well in that category, which I think is amazing. I'm super proud about, but yeah, I think that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We are doing a couple of changes around the apartment in the next little while, getting some new artwork and mirrors. So at some point, the background here will look somewhat different. I don't know yet when that's going to be, partially because I don't know when we will be getting those things. And I also don't know, you know, I'm pre-filming right now, so it's hard to know when my next video will be filmed. But yeah, I'm really, really excited for that. So that is it for today's video. Let me know if you like the pink lip again, I'm super curious, or this pink blazer, I'm obsessed with it. And this pink hair clip, oh my goodness, I'm just all pink today. <laughs> Anyways, I will talk to you next week.